Cheapskate argues over $2.75 iced tea they didn't like on the bill, so I happily switched it out for the $3 soda they ordered instead. Some people are particular about their iced teas, ours has a tropical flavor, which this woman didn't care for. Can I just get a diet soda instead? Not a problem. Trying to hunt down a manager to void out an iced tea for a soda isn't worth the effort, especially for a negligible 25 cent difference between beverages, so I just let it ride. When the check arrived, the party spent a good deal of time poring over how to split the bill. My manager had swung by to run their cards, and they apparently gave him the same lecture about how we should just have regular black iced tea and said I forgot to take it off the bill. When he voided it off and checked with me, I told him, oh, that's right, and they switched to a soda, and rang it in. He just shrugged his shoulders like his time had been wasted. I figured the table were either being cheapskates or dumb, so I happily dropped off the new bill and said, so we took off the iced tea and corrected it with her Diet Coke. The guy took another 10 minutes staring at the bill and probably felt like the biggest ignoramus. Now to the comments. I do enjoy when moronic customers play themselves. Very satisfying. And when they realize it. Although it seems to have taken 10 minutes. Allowing for poetic license in the time, it still does indicate something, wink. Reminds me of a customer I had. The store I work at will sometimes allow non-receipt returns. The catch is, it will return at the current selling price minus 20%. Someone came in with a return and no receipt. I made an exception and returned it. Oh I definitely paid more than that. Well this is the best I can do without proof of purchase. She dumps her purse and starts digging. Success, she finds the receipt. Turns out, she bought it on sale and used a coupon. If she had just accepted the non-receipt price and merchandise credit, she would have gotten more money back than she originally spent on it. Priceless comedic value for me though. It took everything I had not to burst out laughing. It's always a good day when a customer interaction favors me. I worked in a UK DIY retailer many years ago and had a woman bring me back a box of tiles she bought extra for a project. I started to say that I couldn't accept the box back because, but before she let me finish, she went off on one, saying that she had spent pound 1000 s in their shop and blah, blah, blah. This was a busy weekend day and there was a small queue forming behind her. Once she had calmed down a little, I continued to say that I couldn't accept the box of tiles back because she didn't buy them from us. There was more moaning and huffing from her whilst I turned to box round and pointed to the brand name on the box, which happened to be the brand name of our main national competitor. This is why I can't accept the box back. She looked at the box and looked at me and believe it or not said, can you not refund me for it anyway? It will save me driving to the other side of town. I looked straight at her and said who's next. To the waiting queue. She grabbed the box and left in a hurry and the rest of the queue were either tooting or just plain laughing at her. Tutting that's nearly the nuclear option in the UK, isn't it? It's worse than violence in extreme cases. Four dollars for a soda? That's the true crime here lol. It's common for upscale restaurants to charge four to six dollars for a soda. I used to work at one that didn't even do free refills so it was five dollars per soda in these tiny ass glasses. Upscale dining is overpriced as duck on drinks because that's where they make a lot of their profit from. Edit. This is the first time I've gained 1k upvotes on a comment slash post. Thanks. We've been having similar situations at my workplace, too. Guests staying at Out Resort have the option of two packages. 1. A daily package with all-inclusive deals and a $25 gift card. Or 2. A two-day package, meant for weekends with all-inclusive deals and a $100 gift card.
the daily package is cheaper, literally the same cost of a regular night, while the two-day one is almost $150 more. We keep suggesting people take the daily package, but every single one of them insists on taking the more expensive option because it comes with a larger gift card. I want the package for the $100 card. Okay. But you'll end up spending $150 to get a $100. Are you sure? Yes, because it's more. But you'd be paying more than necessary. Okay, then. Some of these people are expensing the stay, employer reimburses them, but get to keep the gift card. Possibly, but this has been more prevalent during March break. It's only the women, too. No men have ever paid with gift cards. Women will fight tooth and nail over these cards, to the point of using $2750 cards to pay for their entire stays. I make sure they stand around while I swipe. Every single one. Edit, sorry if it comes off as a tad sexist, but the moment I catch a guy doing it, I'll repent. I had a dude literally call my work and ask for 0 0.10 cents back. It was the principal. Some Karen waited in line for a good 20 minutes to try and return a shirt she bought at Walmart at the dollar store I worked at. Then she waited another 45 minutes to speak to my manager when I said I couldn't do that. The shirt had been marked down to $2. I can't imagine driving across town and waiting for over an hour just for $2. Literally, she lost money on that in gas alone. This made a childhood memory flood back. My mom always ordered unsweet iced tea, said it tasted awful, then ordered a diet coke, said it tasted like saccharin. It was a ridiculous exercise any time we went out. I'll never understand why she can't just order water. She's coming to visit in two weeks and now I dread it. We had a family friend who would order coffee, which was too hot, so she would put in ice cubes then complained to the waitress that the coffee was too cold. The poor servers. If they are that tight on cash, they should have just got tap water. I would say 25% of the time someone complains about their bill I realized I forgot to charge them for something. Duck them. Sometimes I do that. I complain that they missed stuff. Don't need someone getting in trouble and I don't mind paying for what I ate. Same. I pretty much only flag if something was missed that I should be paying for. That shit is so not worth someone getting chewed out over or losing out on a larger tip. I eat out, a lot. When the bill comes, it's did we order that? Yes, and we pay it. Jesus ducking Christ. Pouring over the bill? But, but, I complained. Why aren't you giving me free shit? Congratulations, you played yourself. NGL if I ordered an iced tea and you gave me some tropical shit I would ask you to take it back also. I only drink sweet tea, on the rare occasion I drink tea, and when I ask if they have it I always follow up with is it flavored, and half the time it is. Flavored tea is an abomination. LOL. I was looking for this and the comment above. It's iced tea, WTF with this flavored shit. If the staff is not going to tell you it's flavored, then hell yeah it's going back. Oh. Our burgers taste like chicken. You don't like that. Reminds me of when I was managing and a server told me a table needed a senior discount. Company policy was to apply it only to those who qualified. We were busy so I just put it on the whole table since the server didn't tell me which items were for the senior member. 
Server tells me the table is complaining that the discount doesn't look right. Note, they had a couple alcoholic beverages so discount doesn't work on those which is probably why they were confused. Well, them complaining about me over discounting them annoyed them so I asked the server what items the seniors had and adjusted the discount to apply only to those items and let them know I adjusted the discount per company policy and walked away. I don't think they realized it until they picked the check back up, but by then it was too late. Another note, pretty sure they still tipped the server well and if guests ever didn't do to something out of the server's control, I bought the server a meal or two to make up for it. I love how the TLDR is in the title.